is an interesting uh, topic here on Industry 4.0 Research. Karen, uh, CEO of Clear, look at what she said. Just her words, look at it. We need a blend of talent. You need those who, folks who can dream a product, those folks who can build a product, and the ones who can execute product delivery. Sometimes the best coders are poets. It is really balanced. We need a lot of each. What is she saying? Diversity, synergy, right? This is what she's saying. Industry 4.0, we cannot have everyone, like Dr. Rafael said, we cannot have people who clone themselves. If everyone is like you, you don't have the necessary blend of talent, you may not be able to disrupt or innovate. So this is it. This is Industry 4.0 research. Industry 5.0, not yet, not yet. This is 4.0, <laughs> okay? Now, Anthony Robbins, this is just the one thing I want to tell you, okay? You see, just now earlier when I gave you definition of coaching, I forgot to tell you one thing. Of all things in the process of coaching, the single most important skill is the ability to ask great questions. And then look at what Anthony Robbins said. This is, to me, the most outstanding thing he said. If you read his book, Unleash the Giant Within, Awaken the Giant, look at what he said. Questions provide the key to unlocking our unlimited potential. See that? Ah, so let me go one or two steps back and show you one more time this. Okay, if you look at this, all right, you see here under number four, you see that ask powerful questions. Do you see that? Number item four, you see I put it bold, right? Now, those items I put it bold are for you to watch out for. You can even circle it. And let me tell you why. These are the DNAs of disruptive innovators, and they are in bold. Can you see them? Questions, what else do you see in bold? Experimentation, you see that? What else do you see? Observes, and down there? Networks and associations. These are the five DNAs of disruptive innovators. If you study very carefully, the top guru in this field is called Clayton Christensen. He has done more work than anyone else on disruption from Harvard Business School. These are the five most important DNAs of disruptive innovators. But why do we have much more than these five? We have much more because this is disruptive coaching leaders. That's why it's a very tall order. For you to reach a high score is not easy. I applaud you if you have more than 90% because it's not easy for you to reach high score on all of these. Why? Because these are competencies of great leaders, great coaches, and great disruptive innovators, all three into one list. It's a very tall order. But if you have this, you have what it takes to be a disruptor, you have what it takes to be a great leader and a great coach. And you can do all of this into one package. All right? So let's do it right now. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to give you this tool. And in this tool, you're going to work together in teams. And your team is already right there in front of you in your table. So let me give you a brief and then you start on it, okay? Now, remember what I said is about asking great questions, right? So I'm giving you some examples of great questions here. You can use them to help you kickstart, but you can always ask more questions. You can even skip some of the questions. But these are proven, they are powerful. So let me give you some of them. What's your disruptive game-changing goal? Now, this goal has got to be a team goal. It's not your own individual. It's got to be working as a team. So you've got to agree as a team, what's that goal? And then, where and who is your target customer? You must know who your customers are very clearly, deeply, and where they are. And then, what's your customer's persona and their biggest pain points? Not person, persona. What is persona? In design thinking, this is so important. You have to have deep empathy and understanding of your customer. So you must understand the way how your customers think. What are their values? What are their beliefs? What are their pain points? What do they prefer? Why do, what, what drives them to make a decision they make? What makes them want to buy from you and not another player? So all this, you need to understand their persona, you understand their pain points, and how can you best solve their pain points? If you can solve their pain points, they will love you because their life is better because of you. They have less pain. Pain is a key motivator for decision and change. Number five, how can you use your greatest strengths for maximum innovation? Why is this number five so important? A lot of people forgot about it. They're just looking at gaps and gaps and gaps. Sometimes they realize these gaps are not within their zone of strengths, and they play in that and they lose. Why is that so? You only win based on your strengths. You create competitive advantage based on your strengths. Remember the words of Peter Drucker, most famous management guru that ever lived? He said, what did he say? The purpose of an organization is to create an alignment of strengths and make your weaknesses irrelevant. So how do you maximize your strengths? Okay, that's number five. Number six, what habit do you need to create game-changing results? That means what do you need to change in the way you do things? 
habit that you need to change on a day-to-day regular basis. All right? This is a powerful one. Number seven, what's stopping you? What's blocking you? Is there an internal roadblock? Is there some, someone there inside preventing you? Or is there some external roadblock that's blocking you? What is it? How do you get rid of it? What are your best game-changing solutions? All right? So you narrow down now what are your best game-changing solutions? How does your innovative solution prototype look like? Why is prototype important? Because sometimes you keep analyzing, analyzing, analyzing until you get into paralysis mode, you can't move anymore. The prototype gets you to move up and speed up faster because it's okay to make mistakes, it's okay to do it wrong because you keep on pivoting and improving until you get it finally right. So a prototype will get you started quickly, will give you deeper understanding and build momentum. So how does your innovative solution prototype look like? And how can you be sure your customer loves your solution? Now, when I say customer, remember one thing, eh? it is not only external customers, because some of you deal with internal customers, so it could also be your internal customer. It doesn't have to be only external. And finally, what are your decisions and action steps? So my friends, these are 11 game-changing questions for you to utilize in your team coaching. All right? Now, let me give you some guidelines and rules of engagement before you start. Okay? Now, your mission. First, have a team coaching leader. That means within your table, you have to choose a leader. How do you choose a leader? There are two, two ways, at least two or more ways to choose a leader. One way is by putting your thumbs up, one, two, three, point. Whoever is the one who has the most person pointing takes the leadership role. That's one way. Another way, hey, what was your score just now? Disruptive coaching leader. Oh, 92? Okay, good, you are the leader. See? So, yeah. Okay? So you need to pick a leader. now. The key to success in a team is leader. Because if you don't have strong leadership, you cannot drive the results. You need a good leader, a strong leader, okay? Next one. Apply the team coaching tool that I've just given you. Third one. The first team coaching session, you have 30 minutes. You know what? If you have a great leader and a great team, in 30 minutes, you can achieve wonders if you believe in yourself. I've seen every team all over the world. They do wonders in 30 minutes, okay? So this is the first coaching session. You have 30 minutes, okay? And then your mission. My friends, listen very carefully. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, your mission is number one, create a disruptive app or system that benefits millions of people for a better world. That is one option, okay? Second option, another disruptive game-changing tool. Maybe your team has already got a goal, right? If you are in your organization, you have a team, maybe you already know what you want to work on. So you take that goal and you go. But if you don't have a goal in mind, the fastest way for you to move is to simulate, to say, hey, we are going to create a disruptive app or system that will bring benefits to millions of people. You know, in the last two workshops in Kuala Lumpur and Bangkok, we saw a lot of game-changing, innovative ideas coming out from the 30-minute team coaching session. It's amazing how we can see 30 minutes. All right? Are you all clear? Yes, wait, one more thing. The rules of engagement. Okay. The team coach will ask questions to drive, keep driving, and ask to the team and individual. Second, team members take turns to answer. We want people to answer, but team members can also, can I ask a question? You can also throw in a question to challenge. And everyone encourages each other. We want the team to contribute. We don't want people to just to listen and sit quiet because we value your ideas. You are safe. It's okay. You can say something. You can challenge. And feel free to be open and challenge in a positive way. And remember, enjoy the process fun, move around, laugh, do whatever, draw your prototype, maybe take a piece of paper and, and, and try to build it up together, see how it looks like. That's fine. Keep your spirits high. You have got how much time do you have? 30 minutes, okay? Now is your mission. If you choose to accept this mission, you apply what I've just given to you. The tools are in your book. 30 minutes start from now. If you have a question, you can raise your hand. I'll come to your table, okay? Let's go. 30 minutes. All right, thank you all very much. Give yourself a big hand. Wow. Wow. That's it. That was your 30 minutes disruptive design thinking coaching. Now I can see that creative genius and a power within you being unleashed. I could see it and I could feel it. My friends, this is just the beginning. Now I'm going to give any or one of your teams who have something really compelling that you want to share, just raise your hand, we get a microphone for you. It's just only one minute. So it's going to be an elevator pitch of one minute. In fact, you may get funding for your project or your app because we could pay and fund for your project and make it happen, right? So you have one minute to make your pitch. Team leader, if you have something compelling, game changer, disruptive, 
How are you going to do it in one minute? What is it and how are you going to do it? This is a chance for you if you'd like to share. Go ahead. Anyone? Raise your hand. Okay, good. Murti, one over there. You have one? Yes. Murti, go ahead. Anyone else? Okay, good. Let's go there first. Yes, let's start with that. Go ahead. What is your game changer? Give him oh. a hand. Yes. Woo! Okay, for, for us at Micron, so our game changer, our, okay, before that, our disruptive goal to become the employer of choice. Right. Okay, so and, uh, the game changer, employer of choice could be a very common thing that is being adopted by every organization. But uh, the game changer, the actual disruption is going to take place in the way how we approach it. Okay, so the three ma main pillars that we're talking about that is pretty much uh, similar, are very fundamental in every organization. That's in terms of attracting, developing and retaining talent. So how we're going to do it differently here is that uh, in terms of attracting the talent, how do you incorporate the virtual a reality experience in terms of um, creating the right experience for a candidate in the event that they when when they come they are being selected to participate in an interview how do you uh, provide a virtual reality experience so that they will be able to have a full glimpse of the organization from the position that they're going to apply and what are the career mapping and the career progression opportunity up to the one-on-one -on -one session with the CEO to, with the virtual reality experience. So that is one part that we're talking about wow. when yeah. in, in terms of attracting the yeah. talent. Secondly, in terms of developing, how we can, we will be able to incorporate uh, competency profiling uh, as, as an automated AI uh, system whereby they should be able to respond to the sets of uh, questions and the system should be able to, to, to determine what are their gaps and what are the individual development plans they have to go for and automatically the system to assign the trainings that they have to attend and at the same time internal and external trainings which they should be able to subscribe through with the aid of the company's uh, Thank the, you. the design. That's one and, at, yes. at, and at the same time, uh, how do we create, you know, we, we are in the process of setting up a new organization. So we, we are really looking at how to create uh, an state of the art facilities. Time stop. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, give him a hand, yes. That sounds really, really good, really exciting. Great place to work with a differentiation, with a disruptor. If you, can, if you already thought about it, you incorporate gamification into that, that will make it even more exciting and engaging. I'm sure you might have already thought about that. Thank you so much. Next group, go ahead. Over there, okay, there and there. Okay, go. Yes, yes, go ahead. Pass him the microphone. There and that side, yeah. Okay, just only two or three more. Yes, go ahead. Okay, uh, this group consists of an IT, Yes. And the supply chain. Okay. So we brainstorm what you want to do for the future. <clears throat> Since we have an IT, we said let's look at the future IT. So <clears throat> the game plan that we came up with is we call it as the entrepreneur supply chain. Basically, it's very simple. You look at it today. If you want to fly from here to San Francisco, you take a plane, and, you, and as you board the plane, you will notice that you have a captain and a pilot, or two pilots. But do you know that the, when the plane flies you off from Penang, by the time it reach San Francisco, the captain and the pilot doesn't navigate or drive the plane. It's autopilot. <coughs> so, this entrepreneur supply chain is an autopilot system which the IT subscribe to it for a supply chain. So what we look at it is how can we have a system that today if you look at someone as a planner who comes to work, she has to look at so many data and it's all residing in different database. What we want is to connect all the dots using AI, machine learning, built-in intelligent algorithm. And so the planner comes in to work, we just look at the dashboard, like uh, how a captain and pilot look at the dashboard. Right? And if the supply chain is healthy, everything is green. If something goes wrong, he look at the blinking, all the indicator, and if you press that blink button or the blinking button, it tells you what is going wrong. So, in a way, to make this change, 
we have to educate the people to accept the change. And of course, there will be people fearing that if I do this, then I lose my job. Yeah. No. The thing is, you make yourself more intelligent. You, cha you change your role from a tactical to strategic. And oh, like we're running a business. Yes. So in, a, in other words, you're increasing your job value, you get more pay. Very good, very convincing. More bonus. Give them a hand. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. Sounds like he has a autopilot control tower concept, merging supply chain and IT. Very good. You're bringing diverse expertise and you're creating that synergy. Wow, that's wonderful. One more, one final one, or maybe just last okay. two. Yes, go ahead. Okay, our group here, we have uh, some other thinking, some uh, destructive uh, <clears throat> thinking. So you know about the AED, right? So we are talking about AED, we are talking about connecting people. So what happened is that we are thinking of, let's say for example, someone go jogging and things like that, and the person fainted, you don't know what happened to him, whether he needs a CPR or not. What you do, you call ambulance, right? So ambulance will come with the AED and rescue the, uh, the person. So this team, we are thinking of using the technology Using wearable, a watch, a band, anything, that can actually measure your heart rate, that means whether you actually need CPR or your, your heart already stopped pumping, and connect it to a mobile. So what happened is that we are saying that people who, are, who value their own lives, okay, they go on to these particular apps that will connect people, and if you have this wearable, you go jogging or you're going for your marathon and you fainted, this app will auto, this wearable will auto send a signal to your apps, to the community. And whoever that's on the apps nearest to your location will come in and we're talking about a pocket AED. So your life will be saved. So Wonderful. Any, any investors? Thank you. Yes, there could any be. Any investors? There could be. You may have some people approaching you at break time. Yeah. Saving lives. How noble. How noble. Wonderful. Any final ones? Last chance, go. Where? Okay, final. Back. Yeah. Last table. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll, we, we come from a team who is very young and stylish, so our idea is a little bit different. So our founder is Mr. Yong here. So <laughs> our idea is about how we can revolutionize your entire attire shopping experience. I believe a lot of you shop online and you get clothes which doesn't match and you don't know what to buy all the time. So we would design a software that with just one capture of a picture, it will able to do a 3D modeling and tell you exactly how the clothes will look on you. And then the retailer will customize it to fit you exactly. So we look at our target segment. One is direct consumers like you and I, every one of us. The other one is all the retailers where we want our software to be the enabler for all the retailers. So they don't need to develop their own software. If you want to virtualize your e-store, come to us and we'll make it happen. So this is our idea. Yeah, give them a hand. Wow, 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 wow. Revolutionalize. That sounds really exciting. Wow. You could have customers here. Wow. That's marvelous. You not, you not only penetrate into consumer market, but you also get into the retail. That's brilliant. Thank you all so much.